So hello everybody, this is Jiří Borč uh, podcasting from Prague and our honored guest today is Mike Handa. Hello Mike. Hello Jiří, thank you for having me on the podcast. I'm very pleased, thank you for coming. Uh, by the way, where are you currently? Are you also in Prague? That's right, yes, I'm just at Vyshehrad in my office. Yeah, but you are not uh, originally from the Czech Republic, right? If I remember well. That, that's correct. Actually, I was born on the former Yugoslavia and Hungarian border. And uh, later, uh, I relocated to the UK, where I spent most of my life uh, before moving to America and relocating here to Prague seven years ago. Nice, nice. Perfect. Okay, so let's get down to the nice, efficient and relaxed podcast. And as you can see below this video, I have compiled, compiled some information about Mike. However, I will ask again to put it into right order. Mike, what do you do professionally? What is your job? I work as a business consultant and a coach um, for high performers and companies uh, that want to achieve more. So generally, uh, either uh, new startups, uh, companies that just come onto the market and they have very specific targets, or uh, with growing companies who want to scale their companies to a higher level. Mm -hmm. I can understand. Let's go through your past, present and future a little bit deeper, if you allow me. Um, I would be very interested something, if you highlight something from your past, some achievements, some things you are proud of, some things you are maybe even happy or grateful for? What would it be from your professional perspective? Uh, from my professional perspective, definitely, uh, I think it's um, there have been many setbacks along the way. When you're an entrepreneur, you, you face many, many setbacks that I was able to always come back and come back better and stronger. So that, uh, that I feel is, is a, a great strength of mine. I um, was a bit surprised about COVID, I suppose, like everybody else and this war in Ukraine. Obviously, this has a very negative impact on several businesses, including mine. Um, uh, and again, I was able to tackle this and come back better and stronger. So I, I feel like uh, this is a great skill to have. However, um, obviously, I would... Uh, not like to have to do this, <laughs> come back uh, for very long and uh, hopefully uh, build something sustainable. Another mm -hmm. achievement is that I built three businesses over the last 15 years. Um, my first business uh, didn't succeed. It was a 2008 economic crisis uh, that kind of rendered that uh, business um, defunct. And uh, my second business was a company called Inboxes, uh, which is an email marketing spam detection platform. So basically they were collecting aggregated spam filter data to identify where email campaigns go. So it was a SaaS company, which I successfully exited. I got bought out by a subsidiary of Adobe, uh, which I'm really very proud of. And then uh, I was very into martial arts all my life. I've been training martial arts since I was 10 years old and I opened a martial, martial arts studio here in Prague which I ran for five years, and uh, that's also uh, a, a great achievement of mine, or I would consider it as such, and uh, I have very fond memories from those days. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will go unexceptional. Exceptionally, I don't go so much deeper into these uh, details, but with you, I will do an exception. What was the reason for the failure of your first business? Uh, what was the reason for so-called in business, it's called fuck up sometimes? What was the reason for so, that? Okay, for the first business, I created an online platform where uh, basically, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the uh, TV program Shark Tank from America or uh, in the UK, it's called Dragon's Den, um, where uh, basically um, entrepreneurs go on to this TV program and they pitch their products or services to potential investors to get funding and uh, to launch their businesses. Mm -hmm. So basically, mm -hmm. I created a platform like that online so that, the, that there was an interface where people can register and upload their business plans and uh, they can uh, pitch for investments or try to find potential investors. 
So that that was my very first business, and uh, I'm still I still love the idea to be honest with you. Yeah. But came the two two thousand and eight financial crisis. Obviously, uh, people became very very risk averse, and um, as, as as a result, like uh, many uh, potential investors lost their money as well, or or uh, lost a, a great deal of money at least. And um, basically, I couldn't keep the business up. I couldn't ride out this. Uh, this downward turn at the time and keep financing uh, that project myself. So that, that, that was the end of the business in all honesty, but uh, I, I still love the idea and uh, mm -hmm. maybe someday I'll recreate it. I don't know. Thank you, Mike, for your feedback, but I know you as a great business coach. So you know that the very important present moment is important. So tell us currently, which projects are you working on at this moment in your life? At this moment, currently, I'm uh, working with a sales training company, and uh, th this is a new business. Uh, the founder, he was uh, a hugely successful um, salesperson who worked uh, for a recruitment firm for over 10 years, and uh, he decided uh, to branch out to to set up his own sales training company and to help young sales professionals and uh, companies succeed by teaching his methods uh, that was working for him so that's one of the projects i'm working uh, with i'm also working uh, locally uh, with the ambassador casino uh, who i'm helping to uh, solve their recruitment and staffing uh, issues and apart from that, I'm also uh, supporting DNI here in the Czech Republic, uh, which is a referral network um, where we help businesses grow by generating uh, more leads, more businesses for them via referrals. Yes, yes. Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's move to the future now a little bit, because this should be a very fast impactful medallion about yourself so tell us what are you planning and what can you invite us are you planning any events or uh, seminars webinars um, anything in the future what will future hold for you mike currently not planning any event or such but what i am planning is actually i'm working on a, a, a program which is a, a small business incubator where I uh, will provide uh, food training uh, for um, new entrepreneurs who are looking to start their businesses about how, how to do it, like how to avoid the mistakes that many people take. Obviously, um, you're, you're an entrepreneur yourself here, and you would know that 95% of all startups fail. So uh, pe people go into... Uh, you know, setting up their own business, thinking it's easy, thinking, uh, you know, they, they have passion for their idea or whatever, but they yeah. don't necessarily understand how to run a business successfully. So uh, my, my uh, future plan is, or uh, actually my plan for the near future is to set up this business incubator where they uh, will be uh, provided with the necessary tools and education to make their business successful and it will be supported uh, with a layer of uh, 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 marketing services uh, where they can set up their websites, where they can uh, set up their advertising, where they can set up their branding, etc. So um, that, that's, uh, that's in the pipeline mm -hmm. for me and I'm hoping to uh, launch this new service layer um, in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So if you have any questions for Mike, please put them under this video in the comments and Mike would be more than happy to answer all the questions. Let's generate a discussion about these topics if you are interested. Any more future plans? Oh, I think this is quite a lot to handle. This is quite a lot and uh, I uh, want to focus 100% on this. It's important, mm -hmm. I believe, to be single-minded about your goals to set your eyes on the target and just go for that hundred percent because if you divide your attention, you do a yeah. little bit here, a little bit there, and then uh, nothing uh, grows as it should. So I'm yeah. a firm believer in uh, being laser focused. Perfect, perfect. And this brings me to my next question. Actually, you have helped me to ask this question. What about hobbies and free time? How does that uh, resonate with you? Do you have still time for that? 
Oh, I mean, it has been uh, challenging, to be honest. And as an entrepreneur, I do work a lot. I have an 11-year-old son, and mm-hmm. I'm uh, very fond of uh, spending time with him. He was uh, just here with me on the weekend also. And, um, you know, we, we do our uh, father and son kind of things. Play yes, yes. Football, we have PlayStation, we go on a little trip. So next week, uh, we'll be going to Dorni Morava, visiting the uh, Sky Bridge, actually which is the longest hanging bridge in the world. And I'm mm-hmm. super excited to walk across that. Um, yeah, so that, that's uh, pretty much I dedicate my free time uh, to my son and to spending time with him. And yeah, of course, I, love... I uh, sorry, uh, sorry, of sorry. Course I, I, I'm a member of uh, Roundtable International as well, um, where uh, I, I hang out with other like-minded, ambitious people. And uh, that helps me, um, I don't know, stay connected to um, people with similar mindset. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Mike, we are almost uh, at the end of our uh, talk. Tell us any takeaway message, short one uh, for our audience. What should they take away from this talk? Some highlight, button line. Um, I, I think the biggest takeaway or advice I can give to the people that if you look into start a business, if, if you're in that situation where you start in a new business, uh, find yourself a mentor, find yourself somebody uh, who can, uh, who, who's been there, who's done it, who got the t-shirt, who has the experience and who can guide you through and uh, help you avoid making the mistakes. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes, by the way. Like it's, it's part of learning, right? Uh, you you um, teach languages, right? Can you imagine somebody learning a language without ever making a single mistake? It's impossible, right? So sometimes you have to make a mistake, but your mistakes doesn't have to be fatal. And when you're uh, building a business, there is money at stake. There is like your livelihood at stake, maybe even your families, right? So it, 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 it's like a big risk and you have to mitigate that risk a little bit. So get yourself a mentor, get yourself somebody who can guide you through that and make sure, and this is the most important, that your business idea is aligned with who you are personally, that you're not doing what you do out of like social pressure, out of, uh, you know, some um image that you want to fulfill because you've seen it on tv or whatever but that is deeply connected with who you are because that's the only thing that will help you get through the difficulties and there will be difficulties it's an inevitable so when when it's connected to you when when it's uh, deeply ingrained in who you are the business is like a reflection of you in a sense then you can really ride out um, any difficulty and you can come back no problem but if you uh do it uh, for different reasons. Um, the blows start coming and uh, pe- people quit. People give up uh, because they um, don't don't feel so strongly about it. So this would be my my biggest advice, or I hope uh, this would be a great takeaway from anyone that's listening. Mike Handa, thank you. Thank you kindly, Yuri. Virtual handshake. Thanks a lot. Thanks everybody for listening. And yeah. uh, take care. You can reach me at mikehanda.com. Perfect. And because I know you as a helpful, kind, and wise person, I would like to stay behind the scenes with you a little bit. By the way, have you got any question for me, Mike? Because I didn't ask you to uh, to if you need to ask anything about anything. Yeah, so tell us, Yuri, uh, how can people join your uh, network? You're building a network for... Um for uh, uh, solo printers, for small entrepreneurs. If somebody would like to join your network, how can people join your network? Mike, uh, there are two kinds of communities. And uh, at this po- point, this is for the Czech market. There is one community and people can join on Facebook or LinkedIn, so-called groups. They can share their activities what they do and i would or we would support them inside the community to to help them to promote their business Uh, second one is a world community which is smaller but growing they can also join on the facebook or linkedin the links i may upon request put into the chat under this video and uh, the 
as you can see, I am trying to support you in what you're doing because I believe that this is very important to cooperate with each other through this podcast and also through networking sessions. So you are welcome to attend networking sessions with us, which take place every month inside this community. So thank you for this question. Thank you. Thank, thanks a lot for your invitation as well. And I would encourage any entrepreneur in the Czech Republic to get in touch with Jerry as well, get connected with the community and take part. Uh, it, it's a very supportive group and uh, yeah, they have been absolutely fantastic. And it's always better to grow together to find like-minded people who are taking the same journey and to help and guide each other through their journey. I, I, I think that uh, support is really invaluable. Mike, I have one more follow-up question to the incubator, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. because I have gone through numerous incubators myself, Point One, Hub Hub, uh, uh, Impact Hub. There are many around the Prague, mm -hmm. but there are many online ones also uh, inside, within the Czech Republic and also even within the world. There are many incubators. How do you deal with this? Do you... Uh, contact them for cooperation or do you try to make something unique yourself or do you try just to make your own thing how, how would you handle this kind of i don't want to say this word competition but it's it is kind of sometimes kind of competition no i mean um, at, at the end of the day i'll try to develop my own uh, program and obviously uh, i'm not uh, mr no it all so I'm going to bring on external contributors, for example, when it comes to business formation, when it comes to accounting, when it comes to uh, different aspects of the business, there will be other contributors for the program. So uh, bring in high level talent on board who can give uh, valuable knowledge um, to uh, potential entrepreneurs. Um, in the beginning, I will be uh, doing this, um, let's say, uh, for, for myself without any form of cooperation and uh, once uh, we see the demand and we see the success of those entrepreneurs then I may consider potential cooperation and to see to roll out the program to other incubators who might find it valuable also for their mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. The program is going to be in English language however so when you mention the local ones they are mainly in Czech I'm not sure um, how would it be perceived by um, the locals. I mean, if they want to trade on foreign markets, if they want to set up like an international business or a global network, then it would be hugely beneficial for them too. Good luck. Thank you very much, Yuri. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you having me here. Thanks a lot. And good luck to you as well, building the network and supporting entrepreneurs like myself and many others here. I appreciate your invitation.